From drought to flooding, Patty awoke up this morning to the remnants of huge storms which battered the region for most of the night, dropping upwards of six inches of the wet stuff. Flooding aside, drivers are warned that roads are slick and as sand washes onto most of the streets, for bike riders that's a hazard, so take care. In other news, the state of emergency was extended yesterday through to July 31, keeping the power of the government to react quickly against any COVID outbreaks firmly in place. In the same meeting, plans were mooted to allow non-Thais who have families or work here to return, albeit with standard two-week quarantine at state-approved centres at their own cost. This along with the chance of medical tourists coming here for treatment and teachers, along with business visitors, allowed to enter the country too. It's reported, but still unconfirmed, that all forms of businesses, including schools and bars, will be allowed to open by tomorrow. For that to be official, it has to be published, but most are taking it as read. For the entertainment industry, though, many will not open, as footfall won't support cost in tourist regions, such as Patia or Phuket. For the domestic market, it'll be a boom for sure, though, and expat venues will welcome the move. Nightclubs and go-go's that rely on several hundred thousand bar tonight minimum to cover their costs are likely to remain closed for a while yet, this according to many operators. For staff, well, many will be able to get their jobs back in hotels, restaurants, guest houses and bars. But again, many businesses are likely to cut back on staffing to match business demand. And all entertainment businesses will be required to meet strict requirements and enforce the use of a phone app, Thai Chana, to monitor visitor details in case of outbreaks of the Wuhan virus. Yesterday again saw no domestic COVID cases, seven found in arrivals from overseas in quarantine, those being, of course, Thais who are repatriating back to here. And the new cases had arrived from India and America. The Public Health Ministry isn't sitting on its hands, we're told. Instead, plans are afoot to increase the number of patient beds and to build a stockpile of medication and equipment useful for COVID. This has many fear a second outbreak, and it's considered as an insurance policy for the nation. Storms and flooding widespread across the nation are expected to continue today. In some northern areas, roads washed away. In others, such as our own region, the problem was flooding. Homes, shops and more were all bailing out through the night in some areas. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 28, and a very good chance of storms later in the day, that is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.